Is You're it? an ogre thing. I am an ogre thing. I have? Yeah. We'll keep this PG. My young son happens to be in the car. <laughs> You're in the wrong D&D game for BG, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you go to bed so you can play? All in my ears. Without hey. ears. Well, mm-hmm. he'd still probably hear me. Giggity. Yeah, you Giggity. have to watch yourself. I'm a good boy. This is the best time to start explaining the birds and the bees, then. He knows. Yeah. It. Oh... <laughs> David's yeah, character. like when a man and a woman love each other, like your like mom your and I mom do. Your mom and I do. <laughs> Quack! Apparently, your mother wants me to explain it to you. Ah, oh, why are you throwing stuff at me? Hi, Ben. You <laughs> act up one more time. I'm going to tell them why we went to the sheriff's station two days ago. No. Oh well, now you have to. Oh no, you can't. Like that. Oh yeah, we're live. You can't. Well, you could, but we're live. I don't know if yeah. you want to. <laughs> I would never. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Chris is giving me that I'll kill you look. I'm giving you that. I don't believe you that you would never on anything, pretty much. What? <laughs> me? Did I, did I stutter? Just then? No. <laughs> no, Christoph, why are you looking at me? <clears throat> You're muted. Yep, she is. I am muted. That's because we're live, right? That's yeah. Fine. Right, you're fine. Yeah. We can talk. Well, but I'm not in your game yet. I'm still building my so, character. That's fine. I got to get my voice. <clears throat> see if I can even... But I can't wait. I also <laughs> need to get my voice. <laughs> All, right. Uh, All right. Let's get... I, I, Which I one? Checking an email. Checking an email. I need to All find right. my missing right. beard. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in the trash can. Did you know who you look like, Carl? Who? You kind of look like Leon in The Professional. <laughs> <laughs> like a, just longer hair and a close shaved beard? Yeah. Yeah, just saying. All right. Anyway, <laughs> let's, get this, let's get this shindig started. I feel so flattered. Let's get it started. What? Ah. Let's get it started. Man, that song's not PC. <laughs> The unedited version, I should say. Anyway. <laughs> All right. When last we uh, met, you uh, the, the this group decided to go on its second bombing mission. And uh, it was successful in this, but then it was attacked on the catwalk by the airbuster sent by President Shinra. You defeated the machine, but unfortunately, it blew up the catwalk. And you all fell. And are continually falling because that's where we're going to pick up right now. That's right. That's where we left off. Okay. Uh huh. Um, falling. Did I take feather fall? I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what I don't have. <laughs> yeah, this is this is fine. Okay. I use my wings. I mean, yeah. Well, not all of us has wings, Kubo. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I think, I'm a uh, cat. I'll land on my feet. Yeah, I think Barbie and I, though, we're going to just, like, fall like a ton of bricks here. <laughs> just rage right before you hit the bottom, and you'll take <laughs> half damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be... I feel like it's hard to rage when you're terrified, though. I can be pissed off that I'm about to die. I feel, like, I, I, I feel like you'd be more scared that you're about to die, not pissed off. That's only if you're afraid of death. Barbic is. Turtle. You can just go in your shell and hope it doesn't crack. No, I'm still like, going to die. But like, Bowser, like, like, like Bowser in Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody roll a uh, dexterity save. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a... uh, look at this. Cute. Oh, uh, yep, Barbic's okay. dead. 21. 18. Okay. Uh, that's a 9 for Barvik there, guy. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws as long as you can see it coming. So do you, growl and an and an and an. Can I see this coming? Does this count? <laughs> I, I, I mean, you see the ground coming, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So my first roll was an eight. My second roll was a seven. I get a plus <laughs> one. So I'm going to keep that nine. <laughs> keep it nice and tight. I I'm dead. <laughs> it was nice snowing you all. Oddly, oddly enough, you're not dead. <laughs> Luckily, oh. there is a uh, no. There, there, there is a uh, somewhat dilapidated church that you just happen to land just perfect on. Barvik not quite as perfect. He la- he kind of landed like belly first and belly flopped a little bit. Oof. But <laughs> um, yeah, you, you you hit the roof of this church and it is worn out enough that it slows your fall and it hurts a little bit. But you survive. Oh, oh, turtles hate falling. Just that's know that. A mark. If you're wondering what that smell is, I'm just gonna leave that to you. Again? Oh. I fell through a church. Don't judge me. When did we start day drinking again? Oh. Uh, we could do that any time. I could really use that right about now. Well, how about we just get back to section seven? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up in just a minute. Uh, and then you nope, can drink nope, all nope, you want yet because nope, we can nope. celebrate again. I'm gonna inspect the area oh, since I uh, flutter down nice is and there a stick in my face. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I'm up. I'm up. I'm okay. I'm all fine. right, roll, roll your uh, investigation. Uh, that is a nineteen. Where was that roll when I needed it? <laughs> um, as you kind of flutter down, you see uh, what uh, appears to be a church that's uh, somewhat out of use and has been starting to started to be taken over by the plant life in the area. Which is really weird, considering oh, you're in plants? the uh, yeah, you're you're in you're on the in the slums, and there's plants and flowers in this building. They don't grow here. I am one with nature as a turtle. I'm going to be interested in this. Can I investigate one of these uh, growing plants? Yeah. Yeah, nature's <laughs> my thing. Nature's my jam. <laughs> Roll I'm, it. Ver- I'm very nature-oriented as a turtle. Don't judge me. I am turtle. not as a science experiment. What's your, what's your investigation there, Barbic? That is a 16. You see much of the same. Like you happen to have landed like in a flower bed. There's a little bit of uh, light coming through, uh, like broken uh, stained glass window up above you. Um, unfortunately, not natural light because again, you are in the slums and you don't get that down here. But it happens to be a light that is uh, effective enough and that it actually helps these flowers in the area that you landed and grow. And as you uh, realize that there are flowers in the area, you realize you're sitting right in the middle of a just all the whole circle of flowers and you just crush a bunch of them um, and as you say that you hear somebody you're in my flowers oh uh, that's that's my bad i was falling uh, and i'm yeah my bad Wally. F- makes Fa- you feel any Fally. better i also smashed my spleen so i feel like we're even F- falling from <clears throat> where uh, well, that mm, way, up there. Uh, uh, the plate gave out on us. Uh, yeah, that's all. You fell from all the way up there. Wow. We y- you yeah. must be blessed. Oh, I don't feel all that blessed if we're going to be honest about it. But uh, I feel very smushed. Is that the same? I mean, kind of. Who, who is it? Who's talking? What am I looking at? Um, well, it's a younger girl, uh, long brown hair, wearing uh, kind of like a pink dress, and uh, holding a flower basket in her hand. And gonna... uh, roll, roll a history check for me. Not I guess every, 20. Every, everybody roll a history check for me. Not Eight. 20. Not Seven. 20. 17. Hmm. <laughs> I think I would remember her since I bought flowers from her before. I also bought flowers from her. Same. And and I I got an eight. I got a net twenty. I got a seventeen. 
Uh, everybody but she- uh, Sheehan uh, actually absolutely remembers the flower girl that you uh, saw after your last bombing mission. Sean happens to be looking and just only recognizes the flowers that are in her basket. He didn't. Re- he didn't see the face. He was focused on the flowers. I mean, I I am at about knee height with people. So I'm going to approach her and just like gingerly like rubbing my shell. Hey, is he any cracks? Did, did, am I cracked? Am I okay? No, no, you look okay. I don't see any. Wait, wait. no, no, nope, nope, you're good. All right, right. cracked in the head. Uh, my head can crack. That's okay. This is a first class shell. We don't want to crack that. What? So, are, <laughs> all right. So, are you are you guys okay? Yeah, it's yeah. I'm great. Getting... I'm gonna look <laughs> over to Granalon. Can you still breathe fire? Uh, yeah. Oh, so. we're fine. We're fine. He can fire. We're fire. We're fine. Wait, where's you, my axe? Where's my axe? Is it? Oh, my axe is she, okay. She just kind of sends very quietly. But please don't. <laughs> oh, well, we we wouldn't in here. Oh no, definitely not. I, I mean, probably. I, I, Most I likely. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're okay. Lucky you fell through the church. It, it scared me. He scared me. Um, do you do you happen to know which sector we are in? Uh, yes, this is the sector five slums. Where you do you expect five. to be? We need to be in seven. Oh yeah, you're not in seven. That's Just that way. That way, right? You know, yeah. that way. Just, no, please, Mister Barvik, you're you're facing the wrong way, Mister Barvik. Yeah, of course. I was just checking out to make sure there was nothing behind us. See, that way we'd know that the course is clear. That's what I'm doing there. So we, 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 now I know, you know, that that way. Also, did you happen to see any falling robots? We oh, blew one bro- up. N- n- no? Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and I trot out of the church. <laughs> I'm going to look around the area just to see if there is any pieces and parts of this because we didn't get to loot the boss. So I'm just going to just check. Is there any any robotic, you know, kind of roll your investigation, bro? Two. I don't see shit. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, you see flowers and, and and the and the girl, and you're worried more worried about your shell being cracked. You don't quite believe that she uh, is telling you the truth. It's also a two, so <laughs> I see nothing as well. I just want to put that my investigation is a plus zero. Oh, yes, yeah, plus zero. So, yeah, I don't see shit. <laughs> Admittedly, there wasn't anything. The, the, the boss blew up. There was nothing off that one, unfortunately. I'm like looking around, but I'm like, my spleen still really hurts. <laughs> oh, that was not cool. Not cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, Cheyenne said he was booking it towards the door, correct? Yes. I, I am. <laughs> Trotting away. Not really. I, I am taking a leisurely stroll waiting for everyone to like gather themselves. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. But yes, yeah. I am heading towards the front of the church. <laughs> One step at a time there, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, can you lead us back to Section 7? Yeah, I can, I sh- I can show you the way. It's actually not that far from here. I mean, Thank you, once Google. you get through Sector 6. Sector 6? Yeah, we're in sector well, five. We got to go through six to get to seven. Got in five. And six is shady. What do you mean? Well, that's shady? okay. We have Zion with us, and he's kind of shady too. So we'll just fit right in. I I literally produce light. <laughs> I. But that creates shadows, me. right? I mean, yeah, but not on me. It's got a okay. point. <laughs> Anybody got a blanket? You're not taking a no? nap right now. Is is time to go, Mr. Barvik? Let's get Jesse's, a cup. Jesse was... probably thinks you died. They're going to have a party. Five hit points, so could we have a long rest? Oh, actually. Well, no, not a long rest. Well, I don't know. Can, can we sleep here? 
I'm, I mean, yeah, you can't take a long rest. Uh, bear in mind that uh, your entire crew just thinks that you all got split up and died, so they're not expecting you oh. anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if we hold up here for the night? No, that's fine. It's the least I can do to, you know, you, since you survived that, you're lucky this is sacred ground. What? Well, what do you mean sacred ground? Oh, I guess it. I guess we are in a church. Never We're mind. A, a church <laughs> that grows flowers in the slums. The Church of the Sacred Blooming Flower, or something. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe there'll be some catnip. I still have catnip. <laughs> Oh my god. Neat. I, I'm gonna go ahead and just find a I'm gonna I'm gonna go and just kinda find a nice place where there's, you know, some pews that have not been completely destroyed so there's no splinters and just kinda foom right into my shell. Fair enough. Yeah. What's that real soon? I'm I'm going to go to the center of the flower bed. And cr- like do the thing that cats and dogs do, where they they pat around in a circle until they get comfortable and then lay down. It's so like three days later. All I can <laughs> hear is these tiny little steps around me. No, you 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 hear you hear it for a second, and then within like two three minutes, you just hear purring. Yes. I mean, I didn't I didn't take any damage at all in that last fight. Well, I kind of got my butt kicked, so a long rest is going to be quite helpful. I mean, same here. I didn't get touched. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mister F- Mrs. Flower Girl. Uh, my name's Aerith, by the way. Oh. Yes. Uh, do you know what time it is? Um, Like 6 p.m., I think. Uh, it's late afternoon. Excellent. Should, do we need to keep a watch? And not that I know of. Unless okay. something else is following you. No. Excellent. And then I go to sleep. <laughs> Everyone thinks we're dead, so it's easy to fall asleep. <laughs> True. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. All right, so everybody's taking a long rest. Uh, since you know it's, it is kind of six in the afternoon, Aerith is just gonna kind of hang out there. She's not really tired; it's not that late for her, so she's kind of doing what or uh, being the watch person right now. Um, so yeah, y'all y'all are able to get a uh, long rest with her watching over you. Oh, finally. Yes. So, so then, as you uh, wake up, it is uh, fairly, fairly uh, late in the night now. <clears throat> but you, you hear Aerith say, "Oh, glad you're awake. I'm glad. I didn't want to leave you here alone, but I really need to get home. My mom must be worried." Do you need an escort? At least we could do. I have fairly, I'm fairly good at taking care of myself, but you know, sure. I could use the company. Yeah, that's the least we could do. After is is that okay roof. with everyone else? I guess I didn't ask first. Uh, yeah, no, that's a good. Yeah, that's. Uh. Oh, I yeah. mean, I'm awake. <laughs> Besides, my my house is kind of on the way of where you're going, so it's it's not really out of the way for you. Two birds, it's... one stone. That's what they say, right? I think that is the the phrase. Yes. No, I I I believe it is. Paper beaks rock. But that's that. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, never mind. I don't have. I have pause. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Toby, it's maybe it's I all. did suffer some ill effects from that fall. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys are ready to are taking her home then? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. I'm all walking right. on. And that, as you uh, approach the doors to uh, exit out from the church, they kind of fly open, and you see a couple uh, security guards there holding the door open for what looks like their superior. 
who's a kind of a, a dude. He's in a like business suit without tie, like unbuttoned shirt, spiky red hair, and just kind of looks like he has no desire to be there. Smells like Wish. sharks. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, can I make a history check? <laughs> uh, I don't sure. want to play a game. Sure. No, you're good. You got to make your history check. Ooh, eighteen. <laughs> so you 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 don't know like you know enough from being uh, held captive in there that you've heard of the Turks, and and that you you don't know the members individually, but you know that they kind of have a similar yeah. or like a, a somewhat look that they are known for. And as soon as you see him, you you know that that's one of them. Turks oh no, they found backstory. me. They're after me. Turks are part of my backstory, so what? Oh, do you, I know him or not? Yeah, I, do your history check with advantage. Okay. I'm going to do a history check too, but I don't remember. Did you send me a backstory and I'm just stupid and didn't read it? I can't roll today. This has nothing. You would know nothing about this coming into this. Uh, you, okay. you, 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 you might know of the Turks, actually. Uh, go do your history check. It's a nine. Should I even gotta, have okay. to do one, or you absolutely know who this is? Yeah. You know specifically who this is. <laughs> <laughs> greetings. I, I also know who this is. I I don't. Yeah. But greetings. <laughs> and as as you say greetings, he he kind of looks at you. He look looks at you around at the group. And he kind of lingers on Gralanan for a little bit. Like, uh, I, I know you. Hey, Reno. How's it going? <laughs> and he, at, at that, he just kind of gives you a quizzical look and then looks over at Aerith like, Hey, sis, this one's a little weird. <laughs> and as, as he says that, you hear the soldier behind him, Reno, do you want us to take him out? And Reno's kind of still looking kind of at everybody a little bit weird. He's like, I haven't decided yet. Allow me to help you decide. And I cast Firebolt at one of the guards. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Someone as, you do, as, as, you, as you go to do that, you hear from behind you, uh, no! And for some reason, like your, it, it just stutters. Your spell stutters and it doesn't complete. Oh. Okay. And you, you, you turn your head to uh, see what caused that. And Aerith is back there. Don't fight them. You'll ruin the flowers and you'll burn my church down. The exit's back here. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'm not arguing with that. Um, but later, later, one of you people is going to explain to me what in the hell just happened. So not now, because... I'm a little creeped out, but yeah, let's uh just run, Barvik. Uh I don't run. Let's just here. You can <laughs> climb on my back if you like. We're going that way, but running is reserved for death, and uh I'm not ready to die, so onward, I suppose. <laughs> I really don't want to blow a second level spell slot on a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cast Vortex Warp on Barvik to get him through the door. <laughs> so as you do this, you're just going to hear, You son of a bitch! <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> you, just, so what, you, you just shrunk him down and left him there? Or? No, no, no. He So um, a bunch of like energy swirls around him and he teleports towards oh. the exit. That's right. All right. Everybody else going as well, I'm assuming? Oh, I also need to roll wild magic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Wild magic surge. <laughs> Blue flame strikes again. Uh, what are you doing to me this time? Wild magic table. If I lose my tail, I swear, I'm going to pull one of your teeth out. Uh, why don't I have my wild, wild magic table bookmarked? With a spoon. Why don't I have it bookmarked? <laughs> it's 
Thought All right. Did. What'd you roll? This is the, uh, 56. 56. <laughs> uh, so as you uh, teleport to your friend Barbic there, everything works beautifully. Like, it just ex- exactly as you expected. And you're very proud. Like, yes. But then you just kind of feel a twinge. And you see hair just falling around you. Oh, no. uh, your whole body. Oh, no. She naked. I am now a sphinx. <laughs> he is now That's a hair, what you hairless get, kid. You little son of a bitch. I don't like this. See, that's what you get for trying to mess around in the church, like the young lady said. This is what you get. Next time, I'm going to punch you, too. You remember that. I'm running. Especially now that there's a weird breeze now, so I'm going to run extra fast. As you run past them, say, have you always jiggled like that? How does your fur hide all that? <laughs> it's muscle. I didn't know it was that cold in here. Let's keep going. <laughs> all right. As you all <laughs> get through the door, you get into the other room, and uh, you see Aerith... Climb up a ladder that leads to a bunch of uh, somewhat broken staircase. I fly up. She hacks this game. (laughs) Ubo, can you grab me and pull me? I can't climb ladders. (laughs) Just hop on my back. You can claw onto Barbic's back. Sorry, I, mean, I had to tell the party what I meant. What, what happened? What did I miss? We ran, so we ran into the next room, and uh, Aerith, who is leading you to the exit, climbs up a ladder that leads to a uh, broken staircase. Check oh. the Janet up. Your cat. Oh. Is there, is there a way for me to jump up? Uh, yeah, there's some, some broken uh, like chimneys or like chimney kind of spire looking things that are made of stone that kind of lead up, but you're going to have to see if you make I'll it. Roll. I'll yeah. go for it. Am I done? tall enough to reach? Yeah, oh, the, la- the ladder goes. The ladder goes down to the ground. Like you can, it's it's meant to be able to get up to the upper stuff. Oh, all right. He, just he's just climb. a cat and can't climb ladders. Well, I'd help him. 20, but... Twenty-one acrobatics. Good job. You just bound right up this little thing and get to the uh, floor with the ladder on or the stairs on it easily, like like a cat. Like a cat. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'd like to see you do that, Barvik. No, uh, me and Gravity have this working relationship, and unfortunately, you just saw what happens when I test that. Uh, I try to leave Gravity alone. How, how far me. behind us is uh, Reno and the other uh, Um, You can kind of, well, we're actually roll a perception, I'll say. Okay. That's a 19. Oh, okay. Tell me how far they are. Uh, I also got a 19. Yeah. And 11. Why can't I get those rolls when I'm falling, might I ask? <laughs> With that, you, you kind of hear that they're uh, coming up behind you. Uh, the You hear a couple of like, just running footsteps, but you also hear one that's just walking, and it seems like somebody's not really too eager to follow you. It's rather sends other people to do so. It's Gronolun next to me. Uh, yeah, you guys all just kind of came through the door, and the ladders were kind of right to the side of the door. So you're, I'm I'd gonna, say you're all right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like pull them in close and kind of whisper, "Can they be trusted, or should we kick them off when they get up here? Like, what's what's the deal?" Yeah, don't trust them. They're sketchy. Trust me. E- excuse me, Miss Aerith. Can I cast spells in this room? I mean, I'd prefer you not destroy anything, but if you can do it without destroying anything, then sure. I, I can, I can try. <laughs> what? Nothing. Kupa <laughs> <laughs> takes the ladder and picks it up and uh, removes the ladder. Can you do that? Can I do that? Can I was conf- it? I mean, you could knock it over. It's not really attached to anything. It's just kind of leaning up against the wall. Oh. I, I, I would recommend letting the other two people of your party climb the ladder first, though. Yes, I thought please. they already did, so. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they were debating or talking about it, but I don't think they ever actually climbed. 
<laughs> All right. No, I'm climbing. I'm climbing now. We had our little conversation. I'm going up. <laughs> yeah, we're to the top. I'm to the top. All right. All right. So what? Yeah. Once everybody's to the top, you absolutely can get, just knock the ladder over. Excellent. So now you're um, on the I... staircase portion of uh, leading up to the rafters of the this church. And at, but as soon as the ladder hits the ground, you see some soldiers come running through. How? And how? It, Oh, right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I was gonna say they shout back, Reno. Do we want to shoot him yet? And here, no. <laughs> I am. Go- so I. Uh, my eyes are going to flash blue, and the the materia that I've got socketed into my boomerang, because <laughs> I have a boomerang, uh, <laughs> shines, and I'm going to cast ice storm. All right, what does that one do again? Uh, a hail of rock-hard ice pounds to the ground in a 20-foot radius, 40-foot high cylinder. Centered on a point within range, each creature in the center of the cylinder must make a dexterity saving throw, taking 2d8 bludgeoning and 46 cold damage. Or have as much of a success. And then the area is difficult terrain. I'm mostly doing it to slow them down. Fair enough. But they do need to make dex saves. Ooh. It's they, only do not, D- they do not do well. What's the DC? 12. Um, yeah, so they, they, they both failed. The, the highest oh. was an 11. Excellent. So they take how much damage? Uh, we're about to find out. Sorry. No, you're good. I was asking so I could roll it, but I'm not rolling anything, so that was a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Um, okay. uh, 20 points of damage. Whew, that doesn't feel good. Each? Yes. All right, yeah, that, it, that hurt real bad, but they're, they're still there. So, Excellent. can I ask a question? Sure. What it described the stairs to me. Is it walled in? Is it just kind of, they could fall off of either <laughs> side? What's... They're uh, like free flowing stairs. There's no banisters. There's kind of wooden stairs that are leading up. Like kind of like think of it like when you're oh, go to an attic and drop down a ladder, or the stairs. They're like that. They're kind of similar to that. So can I can I just charge up the center of this and just you know try to knock that? I'm just gonna charge. I'm huge and slippery. I've got a shell. Can I just charge and see if I can knock them all off either side and just brrr, domino my way up? I mean, you can, but they're on the floor where you just get the ladder down. Oh, I thought they were up yeah. ahead of me. No, no, they're 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 chasing after you. Oh, but if you want to hop down and do that, I'm all I'm all about it. Go for <laughs> no, it. No, no, no. I thought I thought I thought there were new guards barring the way. I was like, oh, nope. I'm just gonna charge right up these like a rhino. Nope. As far as you can tell, there's nothing in front of you. They, everything's just coming in from behind you. Oh, was that, illusion. That was gonna be so cool. It was. I'll give you that. What were you, what did you, what did you say, uh, Koopa? I want to cast Minor Illusion, and I want to make a copy of myself to go to the front of the the church and say, okay. Hey, dummy, I'm over here! So okay. it looks like we're going the other direction. <laughs> As you do that, you uh, hear Reno tell the guards, no, you idiots. That's clearly not the ancient. We want the ancient. She went that way. Go that way. I'm going to immediately look over at the girl and be like, Ancient? I thought you were like 15. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm old. It's my. It's kind of like a race. We were the original ones. I. My mom says I am. I don't know. What do oh. 15-year-olds uh, say? Talk, talk later. Run, run now. Talk later, run now, right? Oh, I hate running. That ice is only going to slow them down for so long. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. Right ahead. Hey, hey, hey! Going. Well, <laughs> as you start moving, it's like right up this way, and she leads you up further through the, uh, church, or up the stairs through the, up to the rafters. And as you are uh, reach the top of the stairs, you hear Reno from the bottom. You idiots! The the ancients getting away. Stop them! And they start opening fire on you. But they're frozen in place, and there's a lot of stuff in the way, and they're like stormtroopers. They don't really have that great aim. 
<laughs> Can I take up the rear so that any shots that could come close might be deflected by my shield by my shell in the back? Absolutely. I'm gonna do that. Go, go, go. Keep my arms tucked in. <laughs> All right. As you get to the top of the stairs, you kind of go at the a little walkway that goes around the corner, and then there's another small staircase to get you up all the way into the rafters. I don't like this. This is a good opportunity for me to test gravity again, and I've not beaten gravity yet, not once in my whole life. It's okay, Mr. Robert Parvik. It's not that far of a fall. We'll be fine. <laughs> and I, I, will, I promise I will teleport you back up if you fall. And there's a lot of uh, jerks back down that way, though. Let's keep going. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, you're welcome to go spend your day with them, or we can keep going this way. Nope, nope, that way, that way it is, that way it is. And she leads you up to the rafters. And once you arrive to the, actually to the rafters, you see, kind of look down and see a bunch more, like five, six more guards coming through. Rena bringing up the rear. Like, are you guys going to let her get away? You know I won't be happy with that, and you won't like me when I'm not happy. I'm just going to shut down as we're going, yes, you are. It'll be fine. Are there bells in the rafters? Uh, roller perception. Okay. I honestly don't know, so that's why I'm asking. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a 19. Nope. <clears throat> and you, two, so that'd be 21, 21. Actually. And you're looking for bells, correct? Yes. All right. Uh, as you look around, you don't see any bells, but what you do see is uh, kind of between the rafters, it's kind of set like in a grid. There's a bunch of barrels that are sitting up there. Like four, four barrels the are barrels sitting up there. Off? I want a Donkey Kong, though, so bad. <laughs> you can knock them off, then. I'll let you. But I'm <laughs> going to tell you, Koopo, knock off the barrels. I'm going to go over there. I just got to pick them up and start going, Oops, that was such an accident. Oh, don't let that catch you in the face. All right, do it. Make make a... Let's see. What Are, are you <laughs> you're just throwing them down to at specific ones, or just kind of throwing them down to throw them down, or...? Throwing them down the... I'm trying to to inhibit the, the the guy in the front, so that if it was to hit any of them, it would just cascade down. They're gonna have to, you know what I mean. I'm trying to inhibit the the closest, okay, stairway to where I'm at. Like Donkey right. Kong. Yeah. All right. Um, roll a strength check to see if you can uh, get this thing going. So that's fifteen plus strength, and, and then a dexterity as well, because I want to see how good your aim is. So that's a nineteen for strength. Uh, dexterity. That's not great. That's a 12 for the dexterity. So you're able to get this barrel over and it doesn't go quite where you want it to. You're trying to get in the middle, like at the front of it so you can knock them all down. It There's four, like four or five that are able to get the ladder back up and get or heading up that first set of stairs. You hit the third one in the head and just it just destroys him and takes out the guys behind him. But the two in front are still coming towards you. Not bad. I'm going to pick up another barrel. The rest of us are running ahead. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll be with y'all in a minute. Then go ahead and uh, roll your strength and dexterity down this this barrel throw. That's a nineteen for the strength. Again, no problem. And that's a sixteen on the dexterity. <laughs> Better you 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 throw it at the lead guy again, and it's going perfect, like where it's going to hit him right in the face. But he happens to notice and just kind of. Jumps to the side so it lands by him and then rolls down, takes out the dude behind him. So now Jeez. you have one more still after you. All right, I'm gonna pick up the next one. <laughs> That's 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a 16 on the strength. This one's a little bit tougher. You're a little bit tired from the first two, but you're still able to get it up. Not 20. <laughs> I'm thinking like a spin. <laughs> so you throw this barrel at him. And you put a little bit of spin on it. That as you do, the lid kind of pops off and sprays. It looks like wine everywhere. But the barrel flies in such a way that it doesn't hit him. It actually lands on top of him, tripping him, and he rolls down the stairs in the barrel. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> Tell your friends about me! And I'm going to run. <laughs> and as, as you uh, run, you just kind of hear, God, that was actually pretty impressive. And you uh, follow the... Uh, Yellow brick road? Yeah, that, that too. Um, no, you follow the uh, rafters of the church, and it actually is out, to a, out, through, out through a hole in the roof. 
And as you get close to it, Aerith kind of looks at you. I mean, this might have been a harder thing, but you guys made this hole a lot bigger. Thanks. And you, she hops out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm following along. Go, go, go. Bad guys are behind us. Forward. <clears throat> All right. So <laughs> as you get out, you kind of see you're on top of this church. It's a couple stories high. You're pretty high up. But luckily for you, the uh, Sector 5 slums are not very... It's kind of like a trash... Not trashy, but it's a lot of scrap metal from when they were building stuff. They just kind of left it there, and there it stays. So if you try, you should be able to find a little way to hop down and get down from where you're at to the uh, main road. Can I uh, jump and then go full shell form and just... I mean, you can try, but it's not exactly like a straight thing. It's you're gonna have to jump from like peak to flat, and like it's a bunch of just garbage that you're gonna have to make your way oh. over. So it's not really a clean path. Crap. But you're welcome to try. It might work out. <laughs> you, 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 you might just plinko your way down. I'm just like remembering your son all of a sudden going down a set of stairs. I try not to. Uh tempt gravity in such a way. I'm okay with a gentle slide, but uh, falling and banging, nay, nay, nay. <laughs> can I, uh, can I, I'll just, can I roll a, can I roll to see if I see a good path? I just nat it again. Sure. <clears throat> with, with, with the nat, you see like kind of the easiest path where you don't have to keep going, like go up to go down and actually just kind of follows a straight, not a straight, but like a jumpy path down without having to change your, uh, height all that often and it looks like it'll be actually fairly easy to get down so uh you see that quite well and because of that as you guys are rolling your decks to make these jumps you all have advantage the entire way down because of that mm. he found the right Thanks. path all right <laughs> and as you're as you're getting ready to go you kind of hear Aerith ahead of you it's like <laughs> they're looking for me again i thought they were after me no, they come after me every so often. They keep trying to recruit me. What did you do? Nothing. I just help my mom, and then I come here, and I tend to the flowers. And then I go home, and I help my mom. What, uh, what are you helping your mom with there, little lady? A anything? Dinner? Doing the dishes? Sweeping the house. Making explosives? No. <laughs> Dang it. Not everyone is like you and Marlene. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> explosives are good for the soul, all right? You should not be teaching a four-year-old how to make explosives. She's clearly 13 or 14, I mean. Not, uh... not Aerith, Marlene. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 we'll give her some time. Some time there still. What is an agent? An agent? Uh, ancient. Ancient. We're, well, we're one of, like, our, my family, at least according to my mom, uh, my family is some of the first people that were here, so uh, they think we have special powers. But I just, oh. I, I'm just here. I don't, I'm just me. Listen. I think that this is a wonderful conversation to be had in my tavern with a drink away from these bad guys. Can we keep moving along? And I'll buy the first round. And you will forget to take her home first, Mr. Barovic. We need to take it. Well, let's at least get to safety. Then we'll have this talk. But uh, I feel like the whole don't do that stop spell thing is still swirling in front of me. So it's just, Harris, a, it's it just a counter spell. It might not be a good idea for you to go home right now if they're looking for you. I would be the first place to look. Yes, you better come with us. I mean, you don't have to. You just can. It's not like a, we're stealing you or anything. That's creepy. Uh, let's keep moving. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying you'll be my. Ways. You're saying you're saying you're saying you'll be my bodyguards. Yeah. He breathes fire. He's a great bodyguard. Yeah, you mentioned that as she kind of looks at him with her, like a weird look on her face. The greatest party trick in the world. Come on, it's great. Yeah, we're besides, not doing it right now, no. 
Besides, if you have explosives you need to go off and your match won't go, you just point him at it. It works every time. We're having this conversation as we're jumping down. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Everybody, everybody make a dex roll. Dirty with advantage. No. 15. 16. 16. 16. I'm being a very graceful giant turtle. Yes, you're, you're doing very well. So you're, you're kind of make your way down the first little path of it and kind of working your way down. Still talking, I'm assuming? Yes. Yes. Can I see Reno real quick? Can I make a perception check to see if they're behind us? Uh, sure. Okay. No. (laughs) That's a four. (laughs) Well, see, as as you uh, have been hopping down, you've kind of gone around a bend, so you can just see like the steeple of the church, but not that's pretty much it anymore. Okay. But from anything else, like you, you hear nothing, so. You feel like you you that you've uh, successfully lost them, at least in your mind. Okay, we'll see if that holds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody, make another dex uh, roll with advantage. And eighteen, uh, eleven, eleven. That's graceful. Now, fifteen 20. again. Twenty, thirty. So yeah, everybody uh, is making a good jump except for Barbic. He's as he goes to jump, he just kind of slips, and instead of landing on his feet, he just <gasps> ow. But he makes it. Don't <laughs> put gravity. <laughs> Dag Mabbit. It's, it's it's my weak ankles, I tell you. Your weak ankles. You have small ankles. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, you need to go running more, Mr. Barbic. <laughs> you need to strengthen those ankles. Or just lay off the booze. <laughs> Wait, Close what? That. Nothing. Lay off the what? That's... No, what? I'm trying to offend <laughs> me here. I see what's going on. Do I insult your mother? I mean, let's go. Let's keep going. All right, uh, everybody do one more dex uh, roll with advantage to get the last little bit down. Oh, dear. 16. That's a a nine. (laughs) 15 again. 21. Watch this! And uh, Aerith natted that one, so uh, as you guys finish the last little bit, she's leading the way down, and uh, you see her just kind of pull out something out of her pocket and press a button, and a bow staff kind of popped out, and she just pull vaults off to the ground. Lands like epically. I Everybody else makes it sound just fine. I see her do that, and I'm going to be like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, you want to see something? I'll show you something here." I'm going to grab my axe. All right, here we go. Here. Uh, what are you just jumping down with your axe in your hand? Or are you trying to pull vault on your axe? Oh no, I'm just jumping down. But I want it to look very like, uh, you know, uh, superhero landing, like ha. Oh. <laughs> Well, you, you try that, but as as you do it, you're again you, your foot kind of slips because you're more focused on your axe than your footing, and uh, y- you <laughs> land somewhat face first. Axe sticks into the ground a little bit in front of you. Paying more the- attention to your axe instead of your footing sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> that was deliberate. That was deliberate. Yeah, <laughs> don't meant to do that. I'm just gonna stand. I'm gonna, you know. Oh, that's a stiff. I'm going to feel that tomorrow. Yep. That's also what she said. Uh, (laughs) Carl, are you still with us? Your camera went out. Yeah, I'm here and not here. Give me just a minute. No worries. You can can keep going. Okay. Um, So, yeah, everybody gets down, aside from Barbic, Cheyenne or Sean. Remind me again how to say it. Shion. Okay. I forget I figure every time because there's like always a cancellation between, so it's like a month between me saying it. Anyway, Shion, you hop down just bouncing off like a cat again. Like a cat. (laughs) Koopo just kind of flies down because that's what she does. She's got wings. Why wouldn't you? And uh, Garlanan just kind of walks down. They're not that far apart for him. He's got some a pretty good stride, so he just kind of walks down the last little bit. And uh, most of you walk past uh, Barvik face first on the ground. I'm fine. 
I'm are, are you going to do the thing that cats do, where when you're on the ground, they get on your back? And start eating his shell? <laughs> yes. I, I'm going to make biscuits into your shell. <laughs> It feels pretty nice. Uh, that, that helps. I'm going to uh, slowly get up and just leave him on there as I start waddling my way <laughs> behind everybody. It was all a ploy to get a piggyback ride. <laughs> well, uh, as, well, as, as this is all going down, you just kind of see Aerith laughing a little bit. Like, I, I never, it's just weird. I, like, a big turtle with a hairless cat on his back. Never thought Ooh, I'd see that. You can't it's pay like, for this kind of entertainment, really. That's what we offer. Anyway, are you okay? Are we good to go? I'm fine. I fall like that all the time. It's it's the third time in two days. <laughs> you must be very he agile. Fell, he fell oh. off of a three-story building the other we night. Don't talk, we don't talk about the three. We, we agreed we wouldn't talk about that anymore, damn it. We, we, no, nothing happened. There was no... Let's just keep moving. <laughs> all right then let's go and Poopo as you start on I... ahead <laughs> what was that i'm sorry Poopo's fluttering on ahead fair enough and as you start walking the, there's there's nothing kind of going on there's just a little path through the trash heap as it were and there just keep, starts talking just, can't believe the turks keep trying to get me i don't know why they want to recruit me to soldier Clearly, you have something they want, or can do something they can't. I can do a lot of things they can't, like be nice to people and not break into things and not hurt people. I'm good at all those. In, in, my, experience, in my experience with Shinra, they, they just kind of, if you're special and it's something that they don't have, they want it. And they will stop at nothing to get it. Yeah, they do seem like those kind of people. That's rude. No, they feel like they know what's best for everybody, so they're going to do it whether they like it or not. They're taking care of you. That's why we're the. That's why we are blowing up woody reactors. Wait, that was All you guys. Are bad. I said I have an affinity for explosives. I just like it when they're really. Big explosive sometimes. I thought you meant like dry ice bombs and stuff. Jeez, that's that's Don't serious. Get me wrong, no, that's a great party trick. In fact, that's that's fun. It's best if you can what, 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 sidetrack. My bad, my bad. Sometimes in the course of life, you just gotta blow stuff up. All right, it's ah, it's just part of life's little joys. All right. Mr. Barvik, yeah, I mean, we need to get you a rocket launcher, Mr. Barvik. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as as you're walking, it's not too far. You kind of see a little uh, path turn off to the right. And she's like, it's right, I'm right, my house is right this way. And so you uh, follow, that, follow that little path, and you come up to... Uh, now you thought the Sector Seven slums were kind of shanty town. This looks like they, they look like the Ritz Carlton compared to this place. There's literally like a couple shacks that are looking like they're gonna fall apart. Uh, someone looks to be running a shop out of a motorhome of sorts. Yeah. You know, everything just lean to is the best that you can get for much of anything. So you're Man. walking through that. Bartervik, I thought your place was a shithole. First of all, my tavern is a place of joy and relaxation. Thank you. Tell that to Wedge. Listen, listen. Everybody's got problems. That's not what we're talking about here. What I'm wondering, though, is if you're so happy-go-lucky, um, maybe, uh, maybe you should come live at the bar. We could use some happy-go-lucky. Apparently, me? some... No, the lady and the mom. This doesn't look very safe. That looks like it could give me a splinter. Well, as long as you don't touch anything, you should be fine. The people here are really quite nice. But I like touching things. <laughs> Nothing? 
Okay. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's, nope. So let's. So your house is this way. Yeah, it's just on the other side of town. Excellent. And she uses the word town very loosely. <laughs> we get it. So, so she kind of wakes her way around. Um, and towards the, you see a little road leading out of this little circle area. Um, and lead you down a path that comes to something that it's, it's quite weird to see because it looks very, very different than where you were just at. Cause it, the little house just sitting next to a little, like a little stream of sorts, almost it looks like, but, um, it actually looks like it's fairly well taken care of and very, and somewhat nice, especially for this kind of area. That that, 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 here. That, that's home. There are a few, yeah. Well, <sighs> okay, Aaron. I understand why flowers grow at the church. It's sacred. Why do flowers grow here? I don't know. My mom my mom told it tells me that it's because we care about them so not much and that we really want them to grow, so they do. Yeah. I just don't really think that's it, but she won't tell me why like if anything else. Every time I bring it up, she just kind of starts acting weird. Okay, excellent. Do you have catnip growing anywhere? Um, I don't know. I think maybe, probably not. No. Yo, and your catnip. But think of the advantages this could have on our brewery. I'm telling you, mom and girl have got to come with us. This could be this could be life changing for Jesse. Are are we are we bowing out of the terrorist game to become <laughs> tavern owners? Uh, first of all, I already am a tavern owner, and no, I just like. I mean, and I, I'm just gonna like hold what my empty flask in front of me, and be like, wouldn't you like this to taste a little better every time you came back from blowing things up? Yes, you would. Admit it. I mean, I guess. Admit it. it. Is, yeah, you you are right. See, see. Plus, everyone likes flowers and stuff <laughs> and things. Yeah. Yeah, but Let's look the, at how the, clean this is. The problem with Mister Barvik is if they came with us, then they wouldn't have the screen anymore. Well, I have a feeling. Not sure where yet. I'm still gathering this thought, but I'm thinking a thought that the, the greenery kind of follows the two girls. So if the girls were to follow us, the greenery would follow them. Kind of like your tail follows you. My tail follows me because it is attached. It's same, same. Just, you know. <laughs> okay. We're having this conversation. I'm still on his back. Yeah, yeah, I'm just talking to him right here. I, I'm I'm kneading into his bare head. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> we need to do this more often. I like this. <laughs> and as you continue to walk towards the house, uh, you're getting closer. Aerith kind of leans o- or looks over at uh, Gralanan. Uh, were you, did you used to be a soldier? Yeah, I used to be. First class. Oh, that's better than I, second class, I think. I figured that your your eyes have that have the glow. Yeah, that's uh, normal for every soldier. That's what I've heard. I've never seen one though. Are you? Why aren't you anymore? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't agree with the way things were being done. Huh? I guess that means I can trust you, because uh, if that's the way they do things, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Have you never <laughs> met anyone from Soldier before? I mean, not that I know of. I mean, I've had soldiers come after me with the Turks. They 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 keep wanting to recruit me as a soldier, but I don't know what they why they think I would be good for that. I'm not a fighter. No, well, right. not I don't want to be a fighter. Maybe they want to guard like her. I have to be. Well, then 
they need to find somebody else. That's not the way you go about getting done that. I have plans for this year. I, I'm telling you, something, something about this girl and hops. I have plans for hops. Can you grow hops there, girly? I don't know. I've never tried. I yeah. just grow these because they're beautiful. Oh, hops can be quite lovely if, you know, treated correctly. <laughs> A- anyway, we're home. Let's, go, let's come on in. I'll, sh- I'll introduce you to my mom. <clears throat> she opens the door. Mom! <laughs> Mom. Mommy. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. Mom. <laughs> and as as you go in, she's like, Mom, hi, these are my friend. I mean, my bodyguards. They, they, hel- they helped me get back from the church. And her mom looks at her, bodyguards? Were you followed again? Are you okay? Well, you Did they hurt you? A couple of strays. We took care of it. My my naked friend here froze him, and then I hit him in the face with barrels of wine. It was a spectacular performance. Well, thank you for helping you get out of there. I wish they would stop bothering us. Do you what? know why they're bothering her? <laughs> yes, but it's not something you really want to talk about right now. I don't really know you. It might be safer if you came and stayed with us for a little while. I, we're in the seventh district. It's a little safer, a little farther away. We have a nice tavern set up, lots of people. Place where you could grow your flowers. Hops, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Now I'm starting to feel like this is an underhanded trick. I just met you and you want me and my daughter to go with you. you are you from the Turks? No, no, I don't even know what a Turk is. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a very humble turtle. Upo, do you think they actually would let us in the Turks? An air Look time. At us. They, no, no, mom. They, they helped me. They, they fought for me. They're, they're friends. I, I swear. Well, you guys can stay here for the night, but I, the, I feel like the more attention is drawn to my daughter then the more they're going to come for. So you're, you're welcome to rest here today, but I, I need you to leave tomorrow. That's fair. Don't want to bring any trouble. That's why we're offering you to help. Kindness of our hearts. Mr. Barvik, they're not buying it. Give it a rest. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. I'm just wearing her down. Like Novocaine. Just got to give it time. With this Novocaine. I'll show you later. It's a soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did he say it's a soup? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Eris' mom looks at Eris and says, go ahead and get their rooms ready for him upstairs. Okay, mom. She runs upstairs. Oh. Now that she is gone, she she mentioned something about being an ancient. I really wish she would stop telling people that. That's why we're in the situation we're in. Surely it was the bad guys, if I recall, said, you're letting the ancient get away, and well, that ain't any of us. So, you know, one plus one is seven or something like that. I, I I'm just confused. Yes, but this all started because she talked about being an ancient to a soldier, and the soldier reported it. Uh, I know she's a child, but sometimes I just wish she was smarter. I know. Happens. People look at me like that all the time. Parvik, I wish you were smarter. (laughs) Get there faster. (laughs) Get there faster. (laughs) I told you, Carl, you need to buy a hot tub because the people with the hot tubs don't have that problem with them, Twitch. <laughs> That's what she was talking about. Okay. Oh, I understand. I don't get it. Somebody tell me that. Somebody explain. Uh, because... twi- there's, there's Twitch streamers that stream on a hot tub and they get they they, they just, they're very popular. Yeah. Like they, get, hot they, tub. 
Tuck gaming is a very popular form of gaming to watch. I gotta tell you right now, ain't nobody wants to see me in a hot tub on Twitch. Yeah, You'd yeah. probably yeah. lose followers. You never know. Put Carl in the hot tub. <laughs> You're like giant lumber, hairy. Lumber snacks guys. don't use hot tubs. They use, they swim in the lake. <laughs> I'm not a damn Sasquatch. Yeah, you are. No, no, what, what you need? I was talking about the lumber snack, not the not not the half squatch. <laughs> you need one of those like big brass clawfoot tubs, and like the you've got like a bearskin rug oh, as oh, as like dear. your like floor mat. I don't like where this is going. Yes, that's, that's how you get the viewers. And I'll get some candles. Yeah, get that DMCA free music going. Ru- Light some Ryan candles, did. light some incense, some start jerky. ominously chanting, sacrifice uh, a virgin to Satan, and summon a demon. Oh, you, so Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, a typical Tuesday. I love how this is just live going out there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I'm really glad I didn't say what I was going to say. Yeah. Probably. Why not? You need to clip that for me. I, I need to make that a TikTok later. <laughs> uh, alt X. <laughs> well thank you for tuning in everyone yeah. hey, thanks. and what a way to close it out yeah we had some technical technical difficulties and verbal difficulties as well apparently um so we are going to call it there at a good resting spot but yeah we will uh yeah. pick this up again uh next time i'm gonna be dreaming about my morphine soup <laughs> your novocaine soup no, 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 can't soup. Oh, Morphe yeah, soup no, is can't. a higher recipe. Yeah, that's a little special yeah. occasions only. Uh, that's that, that's <laughs> what they call that good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thanks for <laughs> on playing. that note. Peace out. Farewell.